Hello again, my name is Reef as always and we are playing Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars. In a previous episode I had a run in with Khan and almost died. Anyway, let's continue on. It's time to go to the airport. And then, hmm, we have France over here, Paris. Let me just make sure there's no other locations on this thing. I think there should be though. Unless the thing does not load. So I think I should go, let me just check locations here. Montfosson, Café de Chantal Vete, Rougerie. I think I'm going to Rougerie. I have to speak to Nico. Yes, Raiden. Hello, George. Yes, Nico. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Yeah. It's my memory about this game. There's some things I'm remembering, some There's things I'm... There's a woman I'm... looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. Yeah, but I think those three hideous faces would There's be... There's a guy working on a loom. Just the same. Look there, two guys on the same horse. A knight with a crystal ball. As the a... knight scroll bears a phrase in Latin. Through my teachings, you will be enlightened. Enlightened, they say. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is... What if I use Have you this? any idea what this lens might be used for? Oh, sorry about that. Getting a bit confused As at the moment. a magnifying glass, obviously. Magnifying glass, obviously. So I need something to read. And Nico is not giving me any information. Okay, no. I'd better okay. get back to the quest. Sorry about that, Nico. I think maybe I should go to Montfosson. We're in case and go up. Yes, Mr. Policeman. Don't be afraid. Okay. If I remember correctly, there is a place to put the lens over here. I think that thing. Let's use the lens on. No. Lens on this. The lens fitted into the end of the scroll like a hand into a glove. Okay. Per disciplinum meum lux vedebus. Hey! The three lens elements need to be slid to correct position within the circle so that when aligned they create a clear image. Um. Oh, I need to slide this thing. Come on. Well, this is not going to be easy. Okay, I think that one goes up. This. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be, though. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see where this goes. So it should be like this. It's just a third one that still needs to fit. Like so. Yes? No? So I just move it a bit more. The distortions came sharply into focus. Awesome. A knight Templar burning at the stake. And below him a date in Roman numerals. Whoa. What is the date? A Knight Templar burning at the stake and a date. Let me see. M C C C X I V. He sure talks loud. That's 1314. 1314. Interesting. I made a note. Okay, let's see. Page 14 of all my notes I have not read so far. Unless use the lens in church a month for someone discovered an ancient clue in the window, the burning of Jacques de Molay and the date thirteen fourteen. Oh, okay. Well I think Per disciplinum No no I don't wanna look, I don't wanna look. A night I mean third Interesting. So what's anything On else? The end of the staff was some kind of around the base of the disc was a hairline crack. Maybe I can fix your crack for you. No? Want to fix no crack? Oh, you wanted to do something. Somehow it looked more. 
modern than its neighbor. In comparison to its neighbor, it looked pretty plain. Oh, so it's just obvious things. Okay, let's ask him about that date. Maybe he knows. Hello again, father. Bonjour, monsieur. How pleasant to speak to you again. Yes, just please don't molest me. Thank you. I noticed that the stained glass window on the left looks more modern than the middle one. You have a keen eye, monsieur. The original window was destroyed in the last war. Oh, what a shame. It was as old as the church. Early 14th century. Oh, man. That's awful. Oui, a terrible loss. Still, the church and the other windows survived. Mmm, shame. So, what about the magnifying glass thing? Do you speak Latin? No. You ask this of a priest? Okay. Can you tell me what per disciplinum meum lux fidebus means? Let me see. That would be, uh, by my teachings, you will see the light. I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. You are not very smart, Mr. George Sobar. So... Uh, no. I can't give him that, and I can't give him this. I was in Ireland recently, and I brought back this plaster. Yeah. My sister brought back a shillelagh. No, oh, your sister's a lot more culture than George is. There's grease paint on this tissue. Oui, you are correct. I wonder what else I can give him. I thought about using the shake and shock on him, but I couldn't do that to a priest. You can't? I can. What do you think of this? A precious sleeve and valve? What should I think? Never mind. Hopefully nothing, Mr. Priest. Au revoir, monsieur. Okay, so... I discovered a clue over there. To think of the long centuries that he kept it secret. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, George, um, I think we should go back to Nicole and tell her what we found. What do you think? Don't you think so? Nope, don't want to go down there. Just want to go back to Nicole. Come on, George, come on, you can do it. Come on, boy. Oh, yeah. Rue de Jari. Not Rougerie, not Rougerie. My French is quite I bad. I solved another puzzle. Yes! You did? Well, yes. I guess I did. I well, did. what was it? What's the answer? 42. 13, 14. What does that mean? It was the date when Jacques de Molay was burned, wasn't it? Of course. The answer was hidden in a stained glass window. When I looked through the lens, the picture changed. It became a man surrounded by flames. It seems to me the answers to the Templar puzzles are as cryptic as the clues. Sometimes I wonder if the manuscript isn't an elaborate joke. The Knights Templar weren't the kind of people to play jokes, were they? I don't know. They don't seem like clowns to me. Okay. Let's take another look at the manuscript. So what we have is that we have been here. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is a gem supported by a tripod. Yeah. So... I have been here, and I have found the three faces, but no mirror yet. I have found the lens. So I think I have two of the things here. Um, I just need to get out. There's, but the reflect There's a guy. A knight with a knight through my... Teachings, you will be enlightened. Okay, game. That's I better get back to the quest. Good. So I have uncovered a clue, but where do we go, Mr. George? Where do we go? I mean, there's nothing here. There's only Paris. Europe. I'm clueless. I think. No. Let's go to the cafe. And no clues. No clues at all. No one to phone. Wait. I thought I heard something. So I'm obviously missing out something here. Um, maybe I need to visit the police quickly. And share my information with them. I wonder where the inspector is. Sergeant Moo? Uh, yes. Where is the inspector? I'd like to yes, oh no, I have done this before. No, 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 Could you no, one no, their name? no, no, no. See you later, Sergeant. 
Okay. Um, hmm. Let's go to the museum. Museum it is. Going into the museum. Talking to this guy over here. Maybe they know something. Hi, Andre. Hello, Georgie. Hey, I visited Nicole's apartment. Yeah? You got some yeah, information for me? she told me you came by. Ooh, quite a fun Georgie boy. I didn't expect anything quite so sexy. I hope you're referring to the manuscript. Man, we, of course. Where have you been? Nicole said you were away. I just returned from Syria. Syria? On the trail of the Templars? No. It's a long story, but I found the bull's head. It was referred to on the manuscript, remember? Yes. Uh, what is it? A secret cave built into a high cliff face. In the cave, I discovered a map bearing a phrase in Latin. In occidenta cita est in ora mundi. Who? The island of Britain. What? Lies at the edge of the world to the west. Strange. That map seems to contain a series of pointers. Like I said, it's a treasure map. Could be. Let's ask about the manuscript. What did then. you make of the manuscript? It dates from the time of the Crusades. Obviously. We guessed that from the Templar seal. It's a story and pictures like a modern day comic book. Oh? It's just a comic what book? What story does the manuscript tell? Hmm. I don't know. It was probably produced for the tourist market. Tourists? Oh, we oui, pilgrims in our thousands on our way to Jerusalem. The tourist trade is nothing new, you know. It's been around for centuries. Ever since Joshua made a packet selling souvenir bricks from the walls of Jericho. Are you kidding me? Is this just a... No, you are hiding something, you sneaky bastard. Have you deciphered any of the images on the manuscript? There's uh, very little I can be sure about. The slang of the bull could be a reference to uh, Mithras. Who's he? A Persian god, almost as popular as Christ at one time. The only thing I can be sure of is the knight. He's Spanish. Yes? How can you tell that? The writing on the shield, the reference to Ave Maria. No self-respecting knight from Northern Europe would have borne a coat of arms like that. Oh, we, they wouldn't? Can you identify the knight's coat of arms? I already did, Georgie. He's a member of the De Vasconcellos family from the Costa Calida. Were they famous? No. They're not mentioned after the 15th century. Oh. The uh, spotlight of history moved on. They are probably long dead. Oh, such a shame. Well, I'll have to Thanks go there. Thanks for your help, Andre. You're welcome. Yes, Andre. Go back to your old stuff. Go back to your history in a box. I'm going to find Spain. A few hours later. Awesome. Yes, go in, George. Go in. Stop dilly-dallying. Such a silly guy. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode right here in Spain. And the next one will be called Spain, I think. Good. Anyway, hope to see you guys again soon. And, well, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.